Hi, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about setting clear boundaries. What they look like, how to do it with children, with other people. I'm Coach Red. You can check out my website at coachred1.com. That is the numeral one.com. And you can also subscribe and like and select notifications on this YouTube channel so that you never miss a video. I am a life coach. I specialize in family relationships and children, especially teenagers. So listen up. I've got some great information for you. And if you want more information or a topic that I have not covered, please feel free to reach out to me at info at coachred1.com. Now let's get to it. When you set a personal boundary, you're essentially saying, this is what I'm okay with, and this is what I am not okay with. Effective boundaries protect our personal space, our physical and mental health, and our safety. And it teaches life skills to the children and teenagers around us. Let me give you some examples of what a personal boundary might be. Um, I'm cool with following each other on social media, but not sharing passwords. So that would be a personal boundary with a person you're in a relationship with. Maybe a boyfriend or a girlfriend or someone who is a close friend. You wanna follow each other on social media, but you don't want them to know your password. Or, in a dating relationship, I'm comfortable with kissing and holding hands, but not in public yet. That's an example. Or I'm okay with regularly texting, but I don't wanna text multiple times in an hour. Or I don't wanna FaceTime for long periods of time. Sometimes these things are not explicitly said but they are shown by action. So listen to the body language and the actions of your partner so that you can establish healthy boundaries in your relationship. Now, how about boundaries for children? When you fail to back up your words with actions, your words will cease to mean anything anymore. So you always have to do what you say or they won't believe you. With children and teenagers, fewer words are better. Be exact in the way that you talk to them and in the timing that you give them. Oh, I'll be done with this in 20 minutes. At 20 minutes, communicate with them in some way. So if you're not finished in 20 minutes, then you go to them in 20 minutes and say, look, I'm not finished. I need a little more time. This is how much time I think I need. I'll let you know then. Be specific be exact. If you're in a household with children, post the rules on the refrigerator or in a public place where everybody can see it. And always acknowledge good behavior. Acknowledge appropriate behavior. Let them know when they're doing something right. How else are they going to know when they're doing something right if you don't tell them? Now, if you have weak boundaries, what would that look like? You would struggle telling others how you feel for fear of rejection or ridicule. You would struggle with feeling burdened by how others perceive what you say or what you do, possibly due to people pleasing. Maybe you want other people to like you or you want other people to be happy with you. So you do certain things and whether you like them or not. If you're trying to make everybody happy with your performance, it's not going to work. That's a weak boundary at work, at school, at home, trying to make everybody else happy with, with your performance is just a disaster. You're never going to make anybody happy. They have to be happy from their own stuff. I want to give an example of unhealthy, <clears throat> excuse me, unhealthy boundaries. That would be putting yourself down. So if somebody says, oh my God, you're such a goofball. You're so 
silly, you're always tripping on your clothes. And then later on, you repeat that stuff about yourself. You're putting yourself down. That's an unhealthy boundary because you're telling people that it's okay for them to call you names and it's okay for yourself to call yourself names. Controlling and manipulating behavior. If you're trying to force an outcome by manipulating something, that's an unhealthy boundary and you're not gonna get what you want. Pressuring into someone else into giving in or you giving in because you're giving in to pressure is also an unhealthy boundary. Letting others determine who you should be. Trying to change someone else. Someone doesn't want someone else to succeed or they're made to feel guilty about doing things that interest them. There's this little couple of children, they must be 10 years old and they're ballroom dancers. And I sometimes think to myself, well, we need ballroom dancers of all kind, but how many stereotypes are there of what the sexual orientation is of male ballroom dancers? And this is a 10 year old kid, so I don't, I'm not saying he has anything at all, but kudos to that parent that allowed that child to follow his passion of ballroom dancing. Not a lot of 10 year olds do that. So in the end, to sum up all of this, I've talked about what unhealthy boundaries look like. I've talked about what weak boundaries look like. I've talked about boundaries around children, boundaries around romantic relationships. You can adapt all of this information to your workspace, to your work relationships, to your community relationships. I want us to set good boundaries because it sets a great example for our children and our children learn from us and the children who are around you learn, even if they're not your children, they learn from you when you have healthy boundaries. And also it makes us feel better. Like we feel more complete. We feel more satisfied in life if our boundaries are being set and adhered to. You'll feel like a stronger person and you'll feel better about yourself thereby choosing good relationships. That's it from Coach Red today. I look forward to hearing from you and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear how successful you were at following these steps that I talked about in this video. Please post in the comment your thoughts and your personal experience when you tried these things that I talked about in the video. Thank you for watching. You can always check me out at coachred1.com for lots of blog posts and videos and other important information that you can use as a parent or in life. Please subscribe and click the notification button so that you never miss a video from Coach Red.